हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू एलगॉड्स वी आर बैक विथ अनादर वीडियो या सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इंटर्नशिप्स एंड इंटरव्यूज नाउ आई वाज रिसेंटली इंटरव्यूड बाय स्प्रिंकलर एंड बाय द वे बिफोर गेटिंग शॉर्टलिस्टेड फॉर द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस देयर वाज एन ऑनलाइन कोडिंग राउंड व्हिच वी हैड टू क्लियर द टेस्ट कंसिस्टेड ऑफ थ्री क्वेश्चंस एंड ऑल ऑल ऑफ द थ्री क्वेश्चंस वर बेस्ड ऑन प्रोग्रामिंग द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाज अ रियली इजी वन व्हिच was based on strings and basically we needed to determine if a string can be read, is of the form 01010101 that is alternating characters and there was a question that was based on the try data structure and it was a pretty straight forward application of the basic basic functionalities of a try like inserting a word into a try like if you know how to insert a word into a try and to check whether a word is present in our dictionary or to check if there are if if a word is a prefix of another word in a try so this question was based on these basic operations of a try so if you know about the try data structure and how to implement it this question was straight forward there was another question in which we had to determine if a number could be written as the sum of powers of 3 5 and 7 so this was a little tricky but i'll call it medium and so yeah if you are familiar with data structures and algorithms and have been practicing interview related questions from websites like lead code interview bit then the coding round would seem easy to you and yeah we also we have also created a playlist for interview preparation as well you can find it on our channel or yeah i'll post the link in the description as well so that might help you and now let's move on to the interview session so the interviews were all virtual this time because of the ongoing pandemic and all and i had to sit for three rounds of interviews but this was not fixed for everybody like some people gave four rounds of interviews and some even had to sit for five rounds of interviews so this was not really fixed and yeah an important factor having a couple of decent projects on your resume is a really a big is really a huge advantage for you like the majority of my first two rounds were based on my project we had a really very detailed discussion on our project for about 20 30 minutes and yeah so having a few good projects on your resume means that you should be really well versed with everything that you have done and how it has been implemented and and you also need to know some new know things about the basic idea behind the problem that is really being solved now the discussion was really detailed and it was like we are we are building the project once again during the interview so yeah uh, of course hundreds of hundreds of questions can be posed on a good project but you will be able to answer all of them that's the good part because you've made the project so you know everything about it so this is a huge advantage now moving on to the next part there were there was a puzzle that was uh, that i was asked during the interview and it was based on finding a defective coin among nine coins and by comparing their weights the defective coin had a different weight or something like that so this was the puzzle and i was also asked a question that was quite similar to the egg drop problem it was a variant of the egg drop problem not exactly the egg drop problem so that was a tough one i feel the egg drop problem can cause trouble sometimes so i took a lot of time here and was stuck at places and i even asked for help from the interviewers so this was a tough question for me and it was more of like a discussion than me solving it now there was another question the other questions were easy one was based on uh one was a simple question re regarding bsts so that was good so there was another question and you can refer to our video video that uh, that titled rearrange array alternatively 
the question was similar to that question it was not exactly that question but if you watch the video you'll be able to solve that question as well so the link for that video is given in the description below so it would be good if you check that out and we might even come up with a solution for the egg drop problem in future not the variant but the egg drop problem in future so stay tuned to our channel and now coming to another important part of the interview now the subjects that are related to computer science like database management systems operating systems and object oriented programming now these are these also form a very important part of the of the interview preparation like the, there might be some mcqs on the coding test uh, the one that i gave did not have mcqs but many tests have mcqs regarding these topics as well so it's important to prepare well and yeah so we had a discussion about operating systems and that was a huge discussion <laughs> really lengthy and very detailed and so these topics are really important and yeah now that we are talking about computer science related subjects we come to another important factor that is the cgpa the great point is yeah it is important because who knows the company might shortlist a person with a higher cgpa so it's always better to try to maintain a good cgpa that would that's a benefit so yeah now the third round was more of uh, i think it consisted of behavioral type questions in which they were they were judging my behavior on how i would react to various situations and stuff like that so that was not so much of a technical round so these were my three rounds of interviews and these were the questions that these were the this was the basic idea of how the interviews went and yeah so to prepare well for your interview you must be well versed with computer science related subjects like dbms oops data structures and operating systems and practice a lot of questions from interview preparation sites we have our interview preparation playlist for you as well which you can check out in the description below and it's also good to to keep participating in contest relating to pro contest related to programming because that keeps your brain focused on programming as well and yeah remember about the projects part that was really important so yeah at last if you like this video then share it among all your friends or those whom you think would benefit from watching this video and subscribe to our channel algods and we have a linkedin page now and you can follow us there and you can join our telegram groups if you have any doubts you will find all the links in the description below so all the best for your interviews and thank you for watching this video